just over three years ago, on March the 23rd, 2020 to be precise, the then Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, appeared on our TV screens. He was to announce the first nationwide lockdown in response to the growing threat caused by the COVID-19 outbreak. It was a hugely significant and historic moment in our nation's life and it was to have an astonishing impact upon all our lives. Many of us will never forget that broadcast. It was one of those I remember where I was when moments. For elderly members of our society, it was probably on a par with the declaration of war against Germany by Neville Chamberlain on the 1st of September 1939. More recently, our nation and many throughout the world have been deeply affected by the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Over the days prior to her funeral, 250,000 people queued in London to participate in the lying in state and file past the monarch's coffin. When asked by the media, people said they just had to be present to pay their respects and to witness the event. They'll have that sort of story that will be told to grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I was there, they'll be able to say. Well before our lifetimes, in fact over two millennia ago, crowds of people gathered on a raised area of land on the outskirts of one of the Middle East's capital cities. They were there to witness an execution. Perhaps only a handful of those gathered would realise that what was unfolding would have profound impact upon countless millions over the centuries. But a few people told their I was there stories and later they were written down and put into context. For just a few days after the crucifixion of Jesus, the one labelled as King of the Jews but known as Saviour to his friends and followers, another story was doing the rounds. The almost incredible but true story of Jesus' resurrection. And these two events together have had perhaps the greatest impact any events have ever had on our world. Of course, we weren't there in person, but I believe we can place ourselves alongside those who were, as we contemplate the full weighty significance for then, for now, for them, for us, for everyone, and for eternity. The unfolding of God's plans and purposes for us all.